Welcome back to Up North at Four. Joining us now, it is Jim Gleick, one of the owners of Monaco Popcorn and Puffs. And Jim, it's been about 365 <laughs> days since we discussed it, but yeah. we're back once again. You folks have been nominated as one of the coolest things made in Wisconsin. And I feel like we do have to start there, Jim. What's it feel like to know that people thought your product is so good, your company is so good that they want to nominate you for the coolest thing in Wisconsin? Oh, it feels great. Uh, yeah. You know, after uh, the first time last year we were nominated, uh, we made it to the Sweet 16 last year, which was uh, unbelievable, mm -hmm. and then nominated again this year. So, you know, our goal is to, to win the whole thing this year. So, Sweet 16 <laughs> last year, number one this year. If the judges are we're watching, how do, we, uh, how do we schmooze them a little bit? <laughs> what do we well, do? <laughs> well, what we need to do is have everybody Everybody go and vote. Yeah. Uh, everybody that's watching, you can uh, either go to uh, madeinwis.com or I made it easier for you. Just go to our Facebook page. I have a direct link. You click on it and it votes for us. Uh, voting ends tomorrow, so you, you need to vote today and tomorrow to help us out and uh, we'll go from there. Get on it. We're going to hold you to that, people <laughs> at home who are watching. But Jim, I do want to talk to you a little bit, though, because you took over the business relatively recently in the grand scheme of things within the, in the last couple of years. Correct. And obviously the, the community support has been outstanding. Yep. But what have you kind of learned, what lessons have you learned along the way from day one to day whatever it is now? Well, uh, don't take anything for granted is, yeah. is probably the biggest thing. Yeah. Um, you know, the, these last couple of years with supply chain issues, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, issues yes. and, and staffing issues have been the two biggest challenges in, since we've taken over. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're getting through it. But you, but, <laughs> but you guys are running like different locations. I mean, and you're staying on top of it. I know you've, got, you've gone through some changes as well with the, like the interiors. You won mm -hmm. that uh, won that yep. grant, won that Gotta award. Got to stay current. Yes. And I, I guess just what has that been like to kind of constantly keep evolving but staying on top of everything yeah, at the same it, time. The first couple of years have been a whirlwind. Again, yeah. between this contest, uh, winning the, the makeover, and um, several other things that's happened here in the last couple of years, it's been a whirlwind. Yeah. And uh, you know, with summers being as busy as they are, uh, Jeff and I were talking earlier, this summer was just <laughs> go, like go, a flash. Go, go, go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we were talking though off camera. And that's, I kinda, you know, it's fun for me to talk to local business owners about how their businesses are doing. And yours is doing very well. And that light in your eye, when you're talking about the line out the door on certain days, right? Yeah, yeah. That has to feel great, not just from a financial perspective, but in terms of, you know, you're helping this community grow, right? And right. you're a big part of it. Beef Rama is this Saturday, yep. and your line's gonna be out the door, it right? It should be. And it's because your popcorn's good, <laughs> yep. and you're a good person, and a good business in a small town, yes. right? And it all kind of comes together, and community support's all a big part of that. And, you know, we, uh, like you said, Sweet 16 last year, we need to get you number one this year. That would be think, great. I Let's do it. Can, I think we can do it. <laughs> can we talk popcorn, though? Absolutely. I wanna, what are the latest yeah. flavors coming out these days? Uh, right now, uh, if you open the tin, you can try it. I have a Rice Krispie oh. treat in there oh. for you. Oh, I'm going uh, Some in. Rice Krispie okay, treats, yeah. Sorry. That's a, that's yeah. a flavor of popcorn? <laughs> that is a flavor of popcorn now. Oh, no. Uh, a thing we it. also okay. have our, uh, our uh, cheese, which is our old standby, one of our best. You know, we use real melted cheddar cheese, so it's like eating real cheese. So, Go so ahead. I, 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 I need am, scissors. I am very curious. Come on. <laughs> All right, Jad, he's going to go figure that out. Jim, I am very curious, though, because you are in the type of business where you do, like, I mean, popcorn is popcorn. It kind of sells itself. But you want to have something new, something different, yep. something fresh. That means trying things out that work. And then, obviously, I'm sure there's things that you guys have tested out and said, yep. I don't know about this. Where do those ideas, where does that ever constant changing <laughs> mindset come from? So most of it comes from our uh, customers giving oh, us right. ideas. Yeah. Uh, we also run a year contest on Facebook yeah. where we get ideas uh, our staff you know come up with them talking about I mean I'll be honest last year we, we did a uh, we did an orange dreamsicle that sounded great on paper yeah. until we tasted it and it you tasted would. like baby aspirin and it just <laughs> oh, no. I couldn't sell that <laughs> <laughs> but obviously I, I, there's got to be like a, a testing process right or a, sure for you your wife or your son or whoever they go you guys go through and say I don't know about this one. Yeah, if, if it gets past us, then we put it on, in little bags in our mm -hmm. stores and have the customers try it okay. and get some feedback from there. And then the next step uh, would be to put it in, in our bins so you yeah. can buy, and then the final step would be to put it in our, our select bags, which is a big investment if we're gonna go that far. Mm -hmm. uh, we have over 30 of those right now, uh, different cool. flavors. And obviously we touched <laughs> on it a little bit. Jeff's still I'm having a hard to, time. Yeah, we'll, we'll let you figure that out. <laughs> we're gonna take a quick break. We're gonna test this here in the next segment. And I wanna talk to you about this 
family adventure that you, your whole family is on right now, uh, running Minocqua Popcorn. But we're gonna take a quick break, so stick with us. The packaging we'll is right, fantastic. We'll be right back. Very sturdy, you can tell. We'll be right back on Up North at 4. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to Up North at 4. Jeff has finally gotten the uh, popcorn. I found my happy place. You're, you're hogging it for whatever reason. Well, this one, this Rice Krispie one, <laughs> which I've never heard of Rice Krispie treat popcorn, have you? No, this is a first. This is new, and it, it tastes like a Rice Krispie treat. Good, we did it right. <laughs> you did it right. And what's the other one, a white chocolate? White chocolate pretzel, so that's our caramel corn coated with a white chocolate and a little bit of pretzel salt. And, and then, then the other one is our cheese where we use real melted cheddar cheese. Can you guys to, see that? It's camera you, four available. How fun is it just to <laughs> so experiment good. with all these different things? That is probably the most fun <laughs> about the job is uh, is experimenting. Yes, I love it so much. <laughs> and I would imagine too a fun part of it. You mentioned it to us before the show as well. Your son just joined the team for you folks at yep. Monaco Popcorn. So this is now like almost a whole entire it's a family affair. Yep. Family affair. How Absolutely. awesome is that? It is great. It is great. You know, um, yeah, we, we just brought him on here a few months ago. He's been helping out in the factory for the summer, and now he's helping out in some of the stores, and uh, he's got a lot to learn, but yeah. it, it's just great. And then his uh, his wife is also helping us out, so we've we've got, uh, you know. I have, like big <laughs> dreams for you. Like, you know Garrett's Popcorn? Popcorn in Chicago. Yeah. We can get you I've that heard big. of them. We can get you that big. <laughs> Oprah likes them. <laughs> is that like the, is that the seal of approval? Yeah. That's the bar. Well, oh, Nate and Jeff like that too. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Yeah, yeah you got I, don't know. I just think, I think you can go national. This uh, time. Yeah. We, we actually get uh, online orders from almost every state uh, during during the holidays. It, it, you'd be surprised how many states we ship to yeah. and, and country. We, we Canada and a few others. Well, I was going <laughs> to say, like, I mean, obviously it's in the name, Manaqua Popcorn and Pup, but Manaqua being such a big tourism town with all the people coming mm -hmm. from all over the place, mm -hmm. I can only imagine how good that is for business where, you know, someone comes in like, yeah, yeah we're from yeah. central Illinois. We love your product. And we, we heard. Yeah. Or, or, yeah, or, right. oh, my, my father-in-law would love your your stuff here. How, how could I get involved? How often does that happen? Uh, every that day. That does happen? Yep. How cool is that? Yeah, no, that's the coolest thing. I mean, you we're used to the, the, the locals. We're used to the people from the Chicago, mm -hmm. Milwaukee, Madison markets. But when you yeah. get people ordering from Montana or something, you're listening, you look at that order and go, how does somebody in Montana know about Monaco popcorn, right, and right. that's the that's the great thing. I mean, yeah, Nate and so I much. come work in your factory for like a couple hours. Absolutely, let's let's we can do that. Nate, yeah, I'm gonna hold. I'm, yeah, hold you guys too. Yeah, absolutely, we're actually gonna make this happen. All yeah. right, so, so behind us here, there's more. Yep. All right, so yeah. we got the traditional popcorn. Yeah, I also brought some said, beer. I brought some beer cheese popcorn, oh, some maple pancake and with a local maple syrup that we use. Oh. And then we also have what we call puffs. These are made out of potatoes, if you want to try those. Would, it's okay. a popcorn alternative, and this particular one is lemon bar puffs, and it's our best-selling puff. It just peels right off. Okay. Okay. So not as tricky as the one you had. <laughs> I was going to say, my scissors got escaped. So this is what I like, though. I mean, obviously popcorn is, I would assume, the top seller. Absolutely, but yeah. there's something. Something that's not. They like to venture pop. out over Monaco popcorn and puffs. Yep. These are the puffs. These are the puffs. Oh. Do you smell that? <laughs> like the lemon. Wow, like the that lemon yeah. hits it's like you lemon so zest. Fast. Yeah. Here, take, take and you said these are pretty little. popular? These are very popular. Like you really smell the lemon like crazy. I shouldn't eat on TV, but this is I'm okay. Going through. <laughs> <laughs> see, I can see why people okay. really like that. Yeah. Yeah, even people that come in and say they don't care for lemon, I, I give them a little sample and they lemon end up is walking very, out. So. <laughs> very hard to do well, but I'm gonna say it. You guys did it well. Good. Great job. Thank you. And so, of course, all this hard work, all this innovation, uh, it's led to a lot of community support. It's led to being nominated for the coolest <laughs> thing made in Wisconsin contest. And Jim, I can only imagine what that meant for you guys last year to get nominated. What are you hoping that this does for you guys moving forward in year? Year two uh, of Monaco popcorn. Obviously, popcorn. just getting our name out there some more. I mean, do, are we going to go national? No. I mean, we're we're happy with the Northwoods and and and, and the circle that we do. But just getting our name out there and, and helping us grow a little bit more. And uh, and like I said, you know, it, it'd be great to win the thing. Uh, I think out of the 130 nominations, we're by far the smallest company. That's and still and, and, and you know, it's a great. Yeah. It's, and when we made the Sweet 16 last year and ended up going up against the number one seed, we 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 still fought and. Uh, yeah. yeah. And one final time, where they go vote? Uh, you can just go to our uh, Facebook page, uh, the Monaco Popcorn Facebook page. I have it set right there. Or you can go to madeinwisc.com, and, and we're on page four of six pages of go. entries. Okay. Can't miss them. <laughs> well, best yeah. of luck. Best yeah. of luck. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Crushing it. it. I yep. love it. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back on Up North at 4. So good. Mm -hmm. You're not. Mm -hmm.